Hey everyone, welcome to Sims Out on Their Own. This is the last episode of Sims Out on Their Own. Um, and this will be the last time you'll see this house. Because I have something huge planned. I'm not going to give any more spoilers away. But in the last episode, we revealed that Casey here was actually having an affair with his ex-girlfriend. Which really never really been his ex, so I guess it's still his, like, his girlfriend. But, uh... And they have a daughter together. They revealed it to Jamie uh, that they had a daughter, but little does Casey know, though, that Jamie actually knows about the affair because his daughter, Leanne, actually contacted Jamie and told him that, look, they were lying to you and all that. And he's been really thinking about it off camera for a while. And he knows he really cares about Casey. And he can understand where Casey was coming from in some cases. And this might shock you guys. But he actually has a proposition of what, how this could actually work. Um, so he's going to go ahead. Now that the kids are heading off to bed. He's going to go ahead and wake up Casey. And say that he has something to talk about about the affair because you will take notice Casey and him has not been sleeping in the same bed they have been sleeping in two separate de beds because of everything but they do seem to care about each other and so he's going to go ahead and um tell Casey so I was really thinking about this and I really care about you and I know Somewhere inside of you, you care about me. And Casey's like, I never stopped caring about you. I think it was just something that happened, honestly. And I wish I could take it back in some cases, but then again, I will be honest, I can't. He's like, what if we don't have to take it back? What if we live together, including her, and... We just go around and be, including Laura, and we go around and be all together, like all three of us together. And Casey's like, "Are you are you serious? Like, what? Why? I'm confused." He's like, "I honestly think I'm really serious." And Casey's like, "I." don't know how Laura would feel about it, but I'm all in. And it's not going to be more of like a polygamous thing. They're going to be polyamorous, which means that they actually, pretty much, it's a three-way couple where everybody can kind of be attracted to everybody else. So she's also attracted to Jamie um, and Casey at the same time. Casey's attracted to Jamie and her at the same time. And Jamie's attracted to Casey and Laura at the same time. So this is going to be quite an interesting set up. Um, so Casey's going to go ahead and ask Laura if that's exactly what she wants to do. Wait a minute. Apparently, Laura got pregnant. And I don't even remember her doing that, but okay. And had a baby named Terrence. That baby would not be changed, be keeping the name Terrence, but um, so he's like, she's like, I'm all in. If if Jamie's all in, I'm all in. So. It looks as if these guys are going to be moving, so they're actually going to go ahead and get that done now. They're going to move on over and to them because we already did the house renovations and all that because she kind of thought that her and Casey would have more kids. But things are going to change. Like, things are definitely going to be a little bit different in this household, um, even though we're not going to see that it's going to be really different because... All three of them are going to be a one big couple and they're going to help each other out 
and live a big happy thing. And this is something I've never really explored before, but it is real things that happen, and uh, it's unheard of in some cases, but uh, it's quite interesting how things came up. But Jamie pretty much picked the way that helps out everybody in some cases. Some people may not may be able to live it that way. Some people may not. But for these guys, I think it's going to work. Okay, so we are here. You guys will take notice that this place was the last place that you guys hooked up right in there. Which ultimately resulted in a baby here. Which, it says his name's Terrence, but we're going to say that she said we did have a son. I didn't want to let you know. Because I didn't know where we stood anymore. Because I knew Leanne had told everything that happened. And I didn't want to push anything further if that wasn't the way we wanted to go. But anywho, I have decided that we have not named the baby anything yet. He, She said, and if you don't mind, I think it would be best for me to spend the night with... Jamie to get to know him a little bit better um, than we already do. Um, because these guys don't know each other as well as obviously Casey and them do. So so he's going to go ahead and wake up Laura. And uh, we also got to get a dog or a cat food thing. Then, so I'm gonna give you that real quick. So, I'll give me a second. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Um, and we're gonna get these guys talking a little bit. In the meantime, her and um, meantime, she said that I'm gonna let you pick our son's name because I picked our daughter's name and all that. So, she's letting. Casey think about what to name their son. Um, in the meantime, these guys are just chit-chatting, like, getting to know each other. Because, you never know. And, even though they did meet before, um, we don't know, like, we only know Laura from what happened with them. And I was thinking... She's like, ultimately, I am not a bad woman. I knew Casey for years, and I, when you suggested this, I honestly thought I was surprised. Um, I wouldn't mind having this polyamorous relationship. And... And frankly, she said, I am attracted to you. Um, so, and she said that I've never um, wanted things to be awkward between us, you know. Um, so, I I know me and, Cam or me and Casey had already had another baby recently. I'd be open to having a baby with you if you would want that down the line. Um, just putting it out there. And Jamie's like, it's funny that you say so because from the moment I met you, I've always kind of had a little bit of a crush on you, even though I, I didn't want to say anything to Casey. Like, I didn't want to push Casey over the edge because I thought you and Casey were something in the past and obviously that's a whole different story but uh so these guys are definitely hitting it off really well so far anyways um Leanne could you at least go ahead and set timer for an hour and I think Leanne's liking this because because um Because she's never really had any siblings before besides her new, now little brother. And now she's pretty much got her two little siblings 
just kind of handed to her. Plus, she's always wanted a cat, I think. So it's kind of interesting that these guys have just actually worked out in a way that I personally could not actually do. But these guys will be heading in. Some of these guys will be heading into school. Um, and... All that. And these guys are definitely getting along really well. They're talking and all that. And... I think she's even going to go ahead and try for a little bit of a flirt. Oh. Timmy's like, not right now, in a way. Like, I think he might be still a little bit of a fresh wounds there. Or maybe just because he's still kind of like... Yeah, I don't know yet. But only time will tell. I mean... You never know, it took them a little bit of a uh, some time to get um with Casey, so you never know. Casey's like, I'm just gonna let you guys alone right now. I want you guys to get to know each other. If this is gonna work, we all gotta know each other. So that and Casey's been thinking really hard of what he wants to name his son. Um, and one thing that he has always wanted to name his son, but obviously when him and Casey were together, they couldn't have um, kids because of being two boys. So he was always thinking. That he liked the name Andrew. So that's what the baby's going to be called. Andrew. He actually gave her a rose and it worked, so I think things are definitely starting to heat up. And I think Casey's standing right there, so obviously he's okay with everything. Oh, she wouldn't let him hug her? I don't know. Maybe these guys are just a little bit rough on their edges right now. Like, they're still trying to get used to things. But only time will tell. Um, I'm actually going to pause this, and I'll be back in a little bit. So, we'll wait and see how things go. Okay, so we're back. Um, it's actually been a few days here. I thought I would just kind of see how things were, but these guys did get a little bit of a relationship while we were gone. Um, Leanne, I don't know what's going on with you, friendo, but 
I would say, why don't you go suit yourself out here? Um, actually, I think you might have to go upstairs to suit yourself out, which is fine. Oh, actually not, because your dad's upstairs, and your brother's downstairs, so we're going to have to wait. But anywho, since these guys have definitely gotten a little bit uh, hot and heavy, they can definitely officially woohoo. And with that said, that will definitely mean that this relationship will work or not. So we'll have to see how things go or how um, Laura responds to this. So Laura's coming to check on the baby real quick, which um, we already said it's going to be named Ann, uh, Andrew. And Laura, or Leanne, you can actually uh, go ahead and get a shower now. So, she's actually going to go ahead and see if Jamie wants to do anything. And if he says yes, then that's definitely a good sign for this polyamorous relationship. Oh, he just said no. Um... Maybe they're just not that, maybe they're just not that, um, good, but they were definitely, um, like, they kiss and all that. So, these guys are just still kind of taking things slow, I think. But they are definitely having a relationship, um, a flirty one. So, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it off here, guys. Um, and these guys are definitely got a tough head away from them. A toughness ahead of them, I should to say. But, uh... I think that... They got it. Uh, like, they got it. Um, and that's what should... Be, if they wanted to be that way. So with that said, actually, I think they are actually going to, because Jamie just asked her, and I think they're about ready to do it. So that that maybe the maybe it was because the kids were around that that's why. But anyways, with that said, oh yes, definitely, this is definitely happening with the polyamorous relationship. But with that said. I don't think anybody really expected that to happen. Um, the kids seem to be getting along really well as well. Off camera, I've seen that they were hugging and all that. Um, and Casey, Laura, and Jamie all seem to have a good thing going on right now. And it's something that I didn't really expect to do with this family, but you never know. I changed it last minute, um, but... Again, with that said, this will be the last episode of Sims Out on Their Own. And next week will be another episode of Sims World. So Sims World will be both on Monday and on um, Thursday. So you guys will not want to mess up. There will be two episodes of Sims World next week. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.